buy it here to film this quickly this is like a week's worth of stuff which is wild but i feel like the closer you get to like the holidays whether it's halloween or christmas even valentine's day like i start to like get on the releases and i'm like i need everything so let's go ahead and go through the once more with love order first so i did pick up the bundle of the um villains and the princesses so it was like a dual all together bundle which is super easy so the first thing that you got was this little like oops washi roll i think from like two or three years ago and then i also got the washies from the collection so there was two stamp ones with villains and princesses and then there was ones with like confetti in the background as well i'm not gonna unroll those for the um villains there was vinyls so these are the little like postage stamp vinyls which i'll put those in my collection which i need to do like a declutter of vinyls that one I feel like, I feel like Post-its like couldn't have its own video because I did declutter them uh, probably like a year ago. I didn't really get rid of a ton, but it's like a manageable amount, but the vinyls are kind of like a really crazy problem. So, but the thing is I don't see myself getting ready, rid of too many of them because they're also something that doesn't take up a bunch of space, like where my washi was like an actual problem with space. But anyways, um, sticky notes, she'll definitely use both of these to have a princess one and then the villains one, both with a good amount of space to write on, both sticky notes. And then I also did pick up both of the kits, which are super cute. I'll just do a quick little flip. They're kind of comparable to a mini kit size. And they're super cute. Each of them has nine full boxes. You have checklists, flags, boxes, glitter headers, like little, little things, fancy labels, um, four third and half boxes, bottom washi and date covers. And I really love the colors of this. It's very spring. I feel like Easter kind of colors as well. And then you have the villains one, which would be perfect for Halloween, September, November, January. Those are the months I'm vibing, but obviously these are anytime kits. You can use any kit anytime you want, um, but super cute as well. Again, with the nine full boxes, I don't know when I'll use these, but I just love hoarding them because I think they're so dang cute and they are on her normal matte paper. Um, during this release, Mark also released um, three magical inspired sheets. So this was the July freebie along with the journaling card I just showed, and then there was the brave sticker sheet and the we're all mad here which is alice in wonderland and then when you wish upon a star which is pinocchio then i did place an order from paper shire sorry if you hear kids in the background they're not doing anything currently theo is going down for a nap but bennett's about to play mario so who knows how it's gonna go so this is from paper shire so first there's this very large journaling card i feel like this is like eight by five and then there was a smaller journaling card as well and basically this is, I haven't ordered from Paper Shire in probably like two months. And I feel like Paper Shire does releases about every two weeks maybe, or even more often. And then if, I think there was like this sale where they did like new releases every day. Um, but I don't order every single release because usually there's like three sheets I want and I try and kind of put, place them all in one order just to save on shipping. Um, but I really wish she had like a all section, like all the stickers were in like a shop all um, so that I could do like shop all and then do like newest to oldest. So basically whenever I do these orders, I have to open up every single section and then do sort newest to oldest. So that I just kind of save it for like once every two months to order now. So this is the all orders freebie. The freebies are always extremely generous, like they're huge. So that's the all orders one. And then this is the 20 pound orders ones. I don't really use the vanilla, I think that's how you say it, the little bunny sticker. So I'm going to pass this one on to Kitness Jess because I know that Jess uses them a lot. So I did pick up some of these. Again, a lot of these are like newer. I think there's like one or two that might be a little bit older, but um, Paper Shire has been coming out with a lot of new like family stickers. So this one is Meal with Family. And I just got the blonde haired child because TT has blonde hair now. And I do have a lot of like brunette stickers and I don't really care like I'll use them. Um, but I just figured from now on, I'll just pick up the blonde ones because both of my kiddos are blonde. And then this one is the preschool learning, which I thought was just good for general playtime as well. And I feel like these colors are really nice. I feel like they're a little bit more muted than the past playtime ones have been. And then I got the grocery ones as well. I don't normally mark groceries because I get them from 
Amazon Fresh, so it's just like I order them in bed and then they come like the next day. But you know, if I ever go grocery shopping, there's that. And then I also have the Taco Joint ones, which are super cute. I love having a variety of stickers. Like I have grocery stickers, obviously, and taco stickers. But it's nice, like let's say you get tacos three times in a week, you can have a different sticker for every single time, or you could use the same one. It doesn't really matter, but I like having a variety. And then there is the Coffee Shop Breakfast one, which is super cute. I love that. It reminds me of like Holy Bagel because usually I get Starbucks. Even though Starbucks ruins me, I've been just like, like a YOLO, whatever. Um, I'll live with it. And then there is the Spicy Chicken, which is super cute. And then the Kids Meals, which are adorable. I love the little like dino chicken nuggets and the smiley fries. That's like childhood to me. Um, and then you have like, I guess these would be like fish sticks maybe. Super cute. And then I did get this one, which is I think the, oh, the next one has the bunny on it as well but I've ordered these I don't watch drag race um and there was like a lot of fandom ones I was like I could get those but I don't know when I'd use them because a lot of them like Schitt's Creek like I probably will rewatch it but I also have like a sheet and I don't know how many times I'd rewatch it to need like more sheets there was like a Lord of the Rings one but I got the drag race one because I thought this would be really cute and I don't have many stickers for it besides like makeup ones for like getting glam like I thought that that was like super cute and I thought the bunny like looked adorable and all these little like outfits and hairdos so I got that for this and because I don't have a sticker like a ton of stickers to market especially like most of them are just makeup like a makeup palette or like a mascara. I thought this one was super cute. So I'll definitely be getting use out of those. And I love the colors that are picked. And then I picked up this one, which also has the vanillas on it. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I, it's not, just let me know down below. Um, but I picked up this one because I don't have many St. Patrick's Day stickers. I'm not like, I don't go ham and celebrate St. Patrick's Day hardcore. But whenever I do like a St. Patrick's Day spread, it's nice to have stickers. And I liked the color palette of this one. So again, I don't have a lot of them. So I figured I'd pick this up. And I felt like there was a pretty good variety of like different ones. So I like to be able to just pull out this sheet with my St. Patrick's Day kit and I'll put it with it next year and then I'll be able to kind of go down and use like one of every variety just to mark something so that is kind of in theme then I have mom time which is super cute so you have like drinking little drinks hugging and then like a little backpack presumably maybe going to school or on a trip um, I thought that was really cute I got the salon ones I haven't went to a hair salon since March of 2019 I've been cutting my hair on my own it actually hasn't gone too bad I'm gonna have Brie fix it she's gonna be coming in like three weeks and see if she if she thinks I need it fixed at all but I honestly just don't care about my hair at this point in my life um, but eventually I'll be going back to the salon so I need that and then cooking a feast again I have tons of cooking stickers so I thought this one was really cute especially this one here and like whenever I cook it's a mess so sometimes I like marking it and then the bread one I have a bread maker I bought it like four months ago I haven't used it yet I've made bread like not in a bread maker but a bread maker just seems so much easier and nick loves homemade bread so i want to get like good at it and like even in a bread maker it's just like you could do so many things like i want to learn how to make potato bread if you have any recipes especially like if they're incorporated in a bread maker let me know um but yeah i want to i just love cooking honestly whenever i'm not feeling super tired i've been the past two or three weeks i've been like Bleh. but i'll get back in the zone and then sleeping, again, another one that I have, like, a lot of sleeping stickers, but I was like, I can use another variety. I like having an option of, you know, different sleeping stickers. So a lot of her stickers are pink, but I find that, like, most of my spreads can accommodate the colorways that she picks, which is really nice. So that was everything for my Paper Shire order, and I love Paper Shire. I feel like um, they ship really fast. I feel like the pricing is really good. They always have sales. I think they have like PR codes. They always have like the crazy freebies. I'm a fan. Y'all know I'm a fan. Like I every single week because I do my like links on my plan with me if I use a sticker from a shop and every single week I use a Paper Shire sticker if not 12. Um, so definitely check out Paper Shire if you haven't already. I just feel like they have a really good variety and the sizing's good. Um, the colors are good and yeah new releases often i know they have a lot of freebies in their facebook group too so definitely hop over there so i did place an order from sadie stickers i mentioned i don't i think it might have been in this haul or the last one i don't remember i think it was in the last one um i placed an order i hadn't ordered in a while and then i ordered the next week because uh she came out with spider stickers which i was like 
cool. Spiders are spooky and I like that. I actually don't mind spiders anymore. I feel like just when scorpions came into my life, like every other pest just kind of seems like not as bad. Um, so I figured that this would be cute for different spreads and I was just gonna get like what I thought it would look good with this year, but I was talking to Jess, Kitten is Jess, and you know, you just gotta prepare for the future. You just don't know what's gonna happen. So you might as well just buy it all and then just use it when you need it. So, cause I have some Sadie sticker stuff that is old, but then I like find a time for it and I'm like, well, thank God I bought it then. So I had my same thought process with this foil as I did with the last one, which you guys can check out my last haul. So basically my thought process was, is that there's like confetti bits. There's also like twinkly bits, arguably in here and little stars. So I feel like realistically I could mix my confetti, my stars, or my twinkle. I probably wouldn't mix twinkle, but I mix confetti or stars. Stars would be cute with this, this spider one. I do confetti with the other one I bought, but um, yeah, uh, what I go with this, I can mix it with it so I can do like some of these pieces. Cause I feel like sometimes also having like spiders on the header overlays, the full box overlays, the bottom washi, the side things all over the place, it starts to get a lot. So when you mix things and you can pull things in from your collection, I feel like it works really well. So that was my thought process here. The only thing was, is this time she didn't do like the split version, but I figured I could just split this myself. I'm just gonna get creative with the split, I think. So I'm gonna still use this for two spreads despite the fact that it's only one or uh, if the bottom washi is the most fantastic thing in the world, cause I think I might use this with the Adams Family Kit in like silver possibly. And I might use it just cause I love wallpaper patterns as is. And then let's say I wanna use the spider stuff again cause I bought them for like two spreads worth. I could just use a bow and then the confetti bits and then just throw a couple of these like deco bits on top of my like confetti bottom washi. Does that make sense? Like I feel like I can kind of like do, I could, I could work with this and have a plan. So I bought gold, silver, and hollow, because those are my faves. So I bought this in the thought of splitting it or like I said, doing uh, like one as full and then the other one would be like bows and confetti. And then I also got the deco bits to sprinkle all over, but also like if I wanted to do the confetti thing on the bottom or if I had confetti full boxes and I wanna put like one of each of these on a full box just to give it a little extra pizzazz. I could sprinkle them all over my spread. I could do whatever I want with them. But you know, I think that one of these would be good for two spreads at least. And then I also did pick up headers. So my thought process here was a little bit uh, wild, but basically I bought in all the foils, I got a fancy header and then like a confetti header and I figured what I could do for the one spread I could do the two headers right I think I don't know actually I don't remember what my thought process was because there's one two three four five six seven eight so eight times four is 48 right no that's not right 32 32 32 and then I need 21 for a full spread, which would leave me with 11 of these left. And then I have these guys. So 11 plus 8, 16, 27. Yeah, and then I, I you know, something's gonna happen here. It's gonna be great. Um, I was thinking like fancy headers on the side for one and then like seven throughout for one. And then fancy headers on the side and then these, these on one. I think that that would work maybe honestly I don't know but you know we're gonna get there and we're gonna figure it out and it'll be great again I could always pull in confetti headers if I don't think that this math of mine worked the best in my thought process and do like confetti headers and then just sprinkle these throughout and then use these for a spread and then you have two on the sidebar I don't know you know it's it's all gonna work out I don't know how it will but it's going to so there's that, and like I said, I think personally that would last me two spreads. She did have like full box overlay with, but again, like I mentioned last time, I feel like they cover up quite a bit of the full boxes for like my style of how I like to use full boxes. So I think that those will work out perfectly fine. And like I said, I'll use the confetti full box overlays, throw a couple of the little deco spiders on it and call it a day. So next I have an order in from Plana Hannah. So there is a little journaling card here with some balloons on it. Hannah's so cute. And then this is the, um, like a little freebie, super cute in like a blue. 
you can see the color go there. And then this is a shop swap um, freebie, and this is from Carlia. I think that's how you say it. I'm like honestly the worst with pronouncing things. Plans. It's just a bunch of doodles that kind of remind me of Hannah, actually. So super, super cute. So I placed an order with some of the Halloween things, and I had like kind of a general idea of what I wanted to do, but I'm not so sure. So basically my thought process was, is I wanted to use these in a spread. I do think that they're like a little bit shorter than a full box, but I'm going to make it work to the best of my abilities. And I think it will be easy. I just got to figure it out. But these are underlays and I'm thinking for the spider ones in hollow, I want to use that with Little Witch, possibly possibly not sure but we'll see and then then i got this one which is creepy crawlies which are basically spiders but i thought this would look cute with beetlejuice but then also it could look good with adam's family with all the other spider stuff because i feel like beetlejuice more beetles these are spiders but like it doesn't matter because they're so tiny but also like it would look really cute with adam's family i think in my opinion um i got decisions to make y'all i got decisions and then also bloody, which these ones I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be using, but I am doing like a Facebook group poll once all of the Halloween kits are released. So maybe it's already up because I don't know when this haul will be up, but I have a feeling that maybe one of the like horror kits, whether it's my exclusive art one or the horror party one it might win. So I was like, if it wins, I would use one of these with it. I personally don't like scary stuff, but I have a feeling, because a lot of y'all do based on the sales, that one of those may win. But also, who knows? And if that's the case, I would just save these together, and then one day, when I'm not scared anymore, which who knows when that'll be, um, I'll use these. But I thought that these would be really cute together, um, and then do like a mixed metal with either black, like a black foil bundle, or a silver i think silver would look really cool with that as well or gold but i think i'd personally use silver so you got like the blood splatters which are spooky and i think just you know having this amount of red would be nice and then doing like silver header overlays some silver full box overlays silver icons and things like that and then you have some different quotes and things like that i like the i see dead people ones they are here i probably use this one too Maybe like this one in like the little box in the sidebar or this one would be good in the sidebar too. Or actually that would be, you know, I got lots of decisions to make, but Hannah has like a bazillion underlays as well as like quote boxes, Disney stuff, icons, custom scripts. Y'all know, y'all know who Hannah is. Just check her out. And she always has little sales going on and things like that. I think she calls them like treat weeks where they're like different things go on sale. So follow her on the gram, but I think that's, oh no, 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 just kidding. You guys didn't see on my Instagram, I actually organized my wax. I was going to do a video, but I just don't know if anybody cares. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Chai tastes so good going down, but everything after is just terrible. So, I have some stuff from Fantasy Wax. My Fantasy Wax drawer is getting la thick. I've been, I need to like, I have a box with all my warmers in it. Right now, I only have three warmers in my house. Three. I don't know and I feel like with fantasy wax like the wax lasts so long so I've had like a the shampoo dupe from my bundle it, it, the same one in my room for like 100 years and I click it for the nine hours and I feel like it has to have been at least two weeks and it still smells good and I'm just like when do I switch it I just I'm not a waster when it comes to anything eh you know eh but for the most part when it comes to food and wax I'm, I just don't like wasting things it just gives me anxiety so yeah, uh, I need to get start getting rolling on trying to find my box that has all my warmers in them so I can like set them up in different rooms and have different waxes going. So and I walk into different rooms, it's like, ooh, that smells nice. But until then, my wax isn't being used up because I only have two warmers. And I always forget to turn this one on because like I have to like the one on my desk, I have to like bend down because it's a Target one and I have to like click the thing and I'm pregnant and that's just like 
bending down and going underneath my desk is just not fun. So uh, maybe I should like pull it up, but eh, you know, maybe later. So anyways, long rant about wax, but you know, once I get all my wax warmer set up, those wa these waxes are going to be rolling. Um, I might keep these out because they all give me kind of fall vibes because they're pies, even though you can eat pie anytime like we all do. But um, there was uh, seven different scents in this, which is insane. There's uh, so many scents. Um, I love all of them except for one, which I think that most of you would probably be able to figure out if you guys know my scent preferences. I'm sure Kirsten knew when she gave these to me, which one I wouldn't like, but the rest of them are fire. Like I thought that I also might not like a couple of other ones. I was like, eh, this might be fine. No, I love all of them except for the one. So let's go ahead and go through them, um, which is funny because I did do a wax de-stash and I sent the picture to Kirsten. I was like, do you want any of these? And then I gave the rest to my mother-in-law and there's only one fan and I have all Every single wax that Fantasy Wax has come out with, I have all or multiple, and I only decluttered one, and it was the one, um, it was like, a, it had like a lime on top, it was like margarita or something inspired, it smelled like alcohol, every time I smelled it, I wanted to gag, but every other shop, there was a lot that I decluttered, because I was like, I don't care about this, mmm, mm, this one's so good, so this one here is pumpkin pie, which is pumpkins, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove. It's so good. It's like a quintessential fall scent. These were available in souffle and these tiny cups. So the souffle ones are massive. And then these are like, you know, you just throw them in your warmer and they're the perfect size. Or you can cut them up, whatever you want to do. But I love this one. I think it smells so, so, so good. It just smells like fall, like kind of almost like when you walk into a craft store. Then there's pecan pie, which is southern pecans, pralines, and butter sauce. This one has like little Mickey eyes on top. This smells so good. I love like nutty scents and like pie, like bakery scents. Fruit scents are really not my vibes, um, but let's actually get into those. There is key lime pie, which is lime, green lemon zest, and vanilla cream, which whew, this one's, I think this one's my favorite, but also the lemon meringue pie one's really good too, which is weird because I don't like fruity scents, but the thing is, is lemon and lime are my favorite, favorite, as long as they don't have any alcohol-y type elements. Mm. I love like if, if I zest a lemon I like sit there with the zester and just like smell it for like a hundred years like if I could rub um or lime lime zest I think it might actually trump uh lemon zest for me but lime zest ooh, I could just literally rub it all over my body and smell like lime zest all day I'd just be a fan and then lemon meringue pie this one also smells so good I just love lemon and lime it's just it's it's clean it's fresh a little bit on the fruity side, but like also I don't like fruity, so it's still a vibe. Like those two are my favorite, which is so bizarre, but they're just so good. And this one is coconut cream pie. This one's good too. This one just reminds me of like, oh wait, coconut butter, lemon, or creamy vanilla base. I smell the vanilla. Like coconut. It's just like a really soft scent. It kind of almost could be like Christmassy in my opinion, but also like an anytime scent you know. And then this one's apple pie, which is cute as well. Apples, fresh baked crust and cinnamon. This one's good too. This one also is like you walk, oh, this one's more like you walked into an apple orchard, but also like the, like the shop at the like apple picking place. You know what I'm saying? Where they have like all the apple stuff. That smells like that. And this one's, I don't like this one as much. This one is called banana cream pie, which is ripe banana, vanilla extract, and pie crust. I just don't like banana. And Kirsten said in her video, it smells like banana Laffy Taffy, and that is the most spot on thing ever. I don't like artificial banana smells. It's so weird because I feel like artificial banana smells don't smell super far off from a real banana, but for some reason, a real banana smells so much better. Yeah, it's just not a vibe for me. It smells exactly like what Kirsten said, which is banana Laffy Taffy, but for me, that's just bit. The rest of them, though, are fire. But if you like banana Laffy Taffy, you're going to freaking love that one. So that is my Fantasy Wax haul. I don't know if these are still available. Hopefully they are. If you want to pick them up, I will link um, Kirsten's shop down below. Kirsten does new releases every two weeks for the most part. Um, and there's, they do stock like enough for everyone. It's not like a situation that you have to like log on and like fight people for them. So love that. And I love all of the scents, like I said. And if you love banana Laffy Taffy, you're going to love the banana cream pie one. So that's everything for this portion of the haul and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, I have a couple of orders here and also um, some wax that Kirsten gifted me. My nails are looking black, but I just took my 
nail polish off and I wanted to film this because I wanted to put this stuff away. It's crazy because I feel like I used to have like such big haul piles and it wouldn't like drive me as like bananas to like want to put them away but now when I have like four orders I'm like all right let's do the haul so I can put everything away. So I haven't ordered from Fox and Pip in a while but she came out with a ton of new releases so I was like all right let's do this. She made a cute little note, which I love, Amanda. I think she's the cutest. I'm just going to stick that right there on my little calyx because she's a cutie. And let's go through the order. So first things first, there was two freebies. This one is the thank you order freebie, which is super cute. I usually just decad these into my sticker book. And then there was also an August freebie if you left a note. And I thought that that was super, super cute. Then... I picked up some of the new releases and let's go ahead and get into them. The first one is vlogging, which I don't vlog, but I thought this would be cute for taking family pictures or if I ever do like a day in a life. I do want to get more into doing like different kinds of videos versus just doing new release, plan with me haul, even though I know y'all love that. Um, I do want to do some like other videos, so whether it be work related or not. Um, I got those. So I thought those were cute. And even just if I use them for family photos, if I change my mind, which is likely, um, I have those. Then I got the thinking of you ones, mostly for whenever I send or receive flowers. I thought that'd be cute. I don't have that many. I think I have like one or two different flower stickers, but it's nice to have a variety. Then there's the stargazing one, which I, I sometimes order things like this in like sports where I'm like, I don't do this. This isn't something I normally do, but like if I ever do do it, I don't have a sticker for it, so I might as well pick it up. So I thought that was cute. And then there's once or twice a year, which has a lot of like random things. So you have like the time changing, voting, like getting shots, going to the eye doctor, which I need to do eventually sometime, like cleaning your fridge. I honestly do that like all the time. I feel like I've, it's just, it's just, all, it's just a mess always with the kids. Um, Maybe like anniversaries, car maintenance. I don't know what this is. Batteries with, oh, smoke detector batteries, um, taxes, spring cleaning. But I thought that was cute because like you don't do those a lot, so you don't need a ton of them. And then I got the OB appointment ones because obviously I'm pregnant. I will have a couple more. I'm like a little over halfway, but I thought this would be really cute. And maybe like one day I'll go to an OB appointment with like a friend or something, who knows? So I have that. Or like if somebody tells me they're pregnant, I could put that in my planner with that sticker and it's super cute. And like a half box would be perfect because I feel like a lot of my pregnancy stickers are kind of smaller, which usually is a pro for me, but like pregnancy is kind of a bigger thing. So especially if somebody tells me they're pregnant, I think that'd be a cute one to use. This goes along with the stargazing where I'm like, None of my kids are in karate, but like it could happen. Um, or maybe we watch like the karate kid or something like that. I don't know, but I like that there is just the white ones, which I don't know like the whole deal with karate, but it'd be nice to have neutral ones. And then you also have the belt colors. Then there's also hockey, same thing. None of my kids play hockey. I don't care about hockey, but you never know what you're gonna need. Hey chef, I like cooking and it's nice to have like a different variety for those. Go away germs, which is like a sick one, which actually happens quite often, especially with kids. So Ben, it was just actually sick last week. I think it was something he ate though, cause he just threw up a couple times and then he was solid. Um, who knows? And then the baby bunny. I thought this would be cute to mark baby stuff for the new baby. Um, I used a lot of bear stuff with TT, but bunny stuff might be cute for this baby. Then the art easel, which I thought would be cute for any arts and crafts. Reading together, I did get only the like tan and the blonde hair. Oh, we got a visitor. What's up, buddy? I'm like, how do you, how did the car get here? What? I'm playing my starter puzzle. You just play with your Star Wars puzzle? Uh -huh. Okay, how about you go play with Legos for like two minutes and then I'll come help you with that, okay? I'll try this. Oh, you're gonna try it? Uh -huh. All right, good luck. He's funny. Um, but I like the tan one, like the skin tone. Um, I actually think that, I think, so what happened was I think Amanda changed printers and the like fair skin used to be a little on the yellow side. So I'd always get the tan ones. So now I just always get the tan ones, even though I'm not really tan, but I just like, doesn't really matter. Um, but I only got blonde because Bennett and Theo are both blonde. Um, 
so i was texting brie about we have this we have like a zoo in our backyard basically especially at night and there was this really loud noise last night and we it woke us both up from our sleep which is wild because nothing wakes us up besides kids crying and it was so loud and we like got it on camera and like like screen recorded sound recorded it and we i thought it was an owl and nick was like no it sounds like a monkey like, there's no way there's monkeys in the backyard and then we looked it up and it's actually we know that there's a specific kind of fox that lives like somewhere near us that comes through our yard and it's a fox mating call but it sounds like a monkey or an owl which is just hilarious so you never heard a fox mating call i don't remember what the fox kind is but i don't know if they're all similar but anyways i don't know why i'm talking about fox right now but here we go um but yeah, anyways, long story short is, is that's why I got the combo white guys because I for, I always get the tan one. And then uh, TT is no longer, Jesus, Christmas. Oh, it's on my, it's on my computer. Hopefully, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But that's why I got those. And I didn't get the brown haired one because TT doesn't have brown hair anymore. And then I got the little snuggles with the blonde hair because I'm like, I don't know what the new baby's hair color is going to be. It's probably going to be really dark when she comes out, but then turn blonde because that's what's happened with all of them. Titi's hair is a smidge darker than Bennett's, but not like really unless you're like looking like you have their heads next to each other and compare it. Um, so I just got the blonde ones, but you know, also it doesn't really matter that much to me. So we'll just use them anyways. And then I got the wait a minute, Mr. Postman. I think that there was one with like a girl in it, like coming out. But I thought this one was cute, just like kind of plain. And then I also got the Tooth Fairy one and none of my kids are at the age where like teeth are coming out yet, but probably in a couple of years, well, in a couple of years, they will be. So I thought that that one was cute as well. So I feel like Amanda, she does big old releases and I love them. So definitely check her out if you haven't already. Another place I haven't ordered from in a while is Odd Loop. Where's the, oh, it's on the front. And I think this came out like oh, maybe like a month ago and I was like freaking out. I think I ordered it kind of late too. Um, I thought that I missed it because I didn't order it the weekend of, which normally with odd loop releases, not like they sell out because I'm pretty sure they just leave it open availability when it comes to like things they make and shop. But I usually order like day of, but I was like spacing or something and I went on their Etsy and I noticed it wasn't there, but they're actually selling, I think, all of their new releases only on their website. So if you ever go onto their Etsy and notice something's not there, check the website and obviously just purchase from the website because it's better for the business. Um, but let's go into this. So I did order two different kits. I should have ordered the Mario one because it was like a month ago and Bennett wasn't super into Mario, but now he's like mega into Mario. I don't know why my phone's being so annoying today. Um, but I think I'm going to get that one for like future, but this was like the inside out. And I think there was another kit, but it was like something I don't watch. I'm not sure what it was, but it's on their website. So I got the little, um, sheet of characters and I figured I put it with the kit. And then when I use the kit, I'll take it out of the kit and put it with my Disney stuff. So I got that. And then I usually pick the a la carte option because I don't use all of the sheets, but I want to get extras of some of the sheets. So I don't get like the ombre heart check boxes. Well, ombre check boxes or I think there's another sheet I don't get. It's the one that has like icons on it. Um, but this is like the combo that I get that I think will work really well. Also, I have pretty extensive multicolor collection from our shop. So between all of that, I should be good. Sorry, I'm like so burpy. I like no chives mess me up and it's only been since I've been pregnant, but like I can't not drink them. I don't know what it is. It's like an actual problem, but like I get it now where I'm always like, I don't understand lactose intolerant people like just owning ice cream, but like it's just hard not to eat ice cream. Not, I don't care about ice cream, but I care about my chives. So inside out, I got the full boxes. I got page four, two of page five, because I figured these are kind of like fancy label size. Also, I need the... um the headers in there as well glitter headers and then i have these solid ones on the side i could use as little things um and this page here i liked like you know the date covers some like layering elements some of this i won't use but i could use like with a little modification um and then there's also the literally no one texts me ever and then today is the day 
this 20 minutes where everyone's like, all right, let's hex Andrea. You have your bottom washi, regular washi, some more glitter headers, and then some check boxes there as well. I mostly get this page for the bottom washi because I obviously need that. I think it is a little shorter than the bottom washi I normally use, but we'll figure it out. So that is the inside out kit. And then I also picked up the up kit. I'm not sure if I ever picked this one up. <laughs> up. But, you know, if we did, I have to. I might have used it in, like, a mock plan with me or something. I don't think I used it in my actual planner. Um, so there's the full boxes. I picked up page four, page five. I only picked up one of page five. We'll make it work. And then the weekend banner and header page, bottom washi, washi, and glitter headers page. Either I'll make that work or next time I order, I'll just pick up an extra page five, which is just, it'll work really well. There's no glitter headers in this one though. Maybe that's what I thought. I could just use it like this and then pull in glitter headers. So there is that. Next I have an order, last planner purchase. I have an order in from Caress Press and I saw that the mystery for this month was Jess Art, so I knew I wanted to pick it up. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. It is not really a theme that I think I will like, I don't, I'm not like, I don't drink. Um, so this is Food and Wine Festival. It was a just kit, so it didn't matter what it was. It could be, I don't know, something that like is definitely something I wouldn't use, but I would pick it up because it's just art. Um, but I think it's super cute and I figured Nick really likes wine. I really like food. So like maybe in the future, post pandemic, I would go to a food and wine festival with him and just eat my way through and let him drink. And then I could be the designated driver. Um, we have went to like food festivals before and they usually have alcohol at them. So I mean, it's going to happen. So let's go ahead and go through this. I love the colors in this kit though. Like the green with the like caramel. I think it's really pretty. So um, this is the not like biggest, but like second biggest kit. Oh my goodness. Is she, she's literally, Brie is texting me. Oh my God, chill. I'm filming. One sec. Um, she's like, she wrote Andre. This is like important capital letters. Brie's usually the person that like, um, like we text and like, there's no, like I, it could be like a day later and there's nothing. So she's really like blowing it up. Um, she kills me. Um, full boxes here. Super cute. I love this Louie bag. It's adorable. I love all the food elements. Of course, I'm not like super crazy about this as a double box. Cause I think I'd like it more if it was like on a flat lay like this, how this is like the map. Um, but I think the way that I could use it and I would really enjoy it would be to put it as like a flap open and you'd have the map underneath the like scene. I think that'd be cute to have it like kind of hidden and then like open it up like it's a map. So I think I like it like that. It's super cute. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then you have like checklists. She's so funny. Um, the solid page and then the patterned page. The glitter header half box page, the miscellaneous page, the little things page. I actually pulled out a crest press kit to use and I was like, I think that this should be enough little things, but I'm not entirely sure. So like I'd have to cut up stuff and like cover these up to use, but I think I can make it work. Maybe like this little section. I'm just trying to, I have to like go through a couple spreads and count how many little things I use and like this sh could be enough. I just have to use more like fancy labels, which I feel like she does have enough of those to use. And maybe I could use some like washi with like scripts on top. And then there's the bottom washi. I like this extra full box here with like the ice cream sandwiches and the coffee, which is super cute. And then I love these like fashion options here. They're super cute. Like... I think I like these two the most. They're just adorable, but I also like the tall. So maybe I do like this one and that, this one. Hmm. Honestly, I'll use any of them because they're really cute. And then you have the 15 millimeter strip. I think I added on this in this possibly, who knows, but it's super cute and I'll probably save it maybe next fall or March. I don't know, whenever it's time is time. And then I also picked up two of the foil bundles 
because it's like a really pretty copper color. I usually pick up like two of every foil bun, unless it's something I know I'm gonna use a lot, then I'll pick up a million of them. Um, but I picked up the bougie boxes in um, this one. Normally if it's a, a core foil, I don't because I have a lot of them, but I don't have any like in this particular color. It's kind of like a mix of like everyone else's like uh, rose gold mixed with like a copper color, but also a little orange. It's really pretty. I feel like this is Kirsten's like go-to foil color. So I like texted her, I was like, yo, if you didn't buy this, you need to buy like a million of them because she loves this color. So I have the two bougie box page and then I have this page here, which is the same in all of the, the bundles. So you have like the scripts, the icons and things. And then the fancy headers, the regular headers, the deco, the bottom washi overlays. And then you have the eight full box overlays, which are super cute. And again, this is like a twinkle pattern, shimmer pattern. And um, it's like a coppery, orangey, everyone else's rose gold. So I did get two of those. And I think... I might use one with a fall kit this year or like a Halloween kit. So I might pick up extra of those to have because I feel like it's a really good one to have in your collection. So if you didn't pick those up, I definitely would. Um, and I also really do love the mystery. I like the colors a lot. Like I wouldn't think to put like that color green with caramel, but I think it's like a really good combo. So check it out, check it out. Then I do have some fantasy wax melts here. My forehead is so dry. For a while it was my nose that was dry, but now my forehead is like crusty. So this is the Beetlejuice bundle. I don't even know if I've smelled these yet. Posted on Instagram. I think I smelled a couple of them. I don't think I smelled all of them. So y'all are gonna get my like first time impressions. So first one here is Barbara. This is the Beetlejuice bundle. And my nails are crusty. This one is pumpkin apple butter. Mmm, this one smells so good. <gasps> this might be my favorite fall scent ever. Wow, wait. Mmm, cause it's buttery, but it has like an intense amount of spice, which is like perfection. That one's dope. And then this one is, um, why can't I, why can't I think today? Is it Delia Dietz? Apple berry spice. This one's good and this one's real good. It's really, nice. it's like a fruity, but like spicy, warm smell. That one's going to be a winner between me and Nick, like both. Adam, cinnamon, apples, wild berries, and cloves. So you got like a lot of fall scents in here, which I'm a fall winter person for scents for the most part. Mmm, cinnamon, apple. I'm getting a lot of apple and the wild berry. The glitter on this one is gorgeous with the green. And then this one is Miss Argentina, which is cider donut. Oops just drop some bats on myself this one smells really good mm, this one's really good it's a little bit more than the other apple ones what's this one more I'm sure if you guys hear noise outside um i can't put my finger on what it's more is it more like vanilla -y? this one does smell kind of like a cinnamon sugar donut but a little bit more on the apple scent which is nice and then this one is lydia deets which is mac apple mm, this one smells so fresh so good it literally smells like you bit into an apple the like juices are everywhere doesn't that just sound delicious <laughs> um but that one's a really good one it's just so fresh that's gonna be a nice one for like the kitchen and then beetle juice which is leaves type from bath and body works I don't really smell on. It's just so hard when you smell like six of them. I gotta smell like my shirt. Okay, basic Andrea smell and then, yeah, I thought this is what Beetlejuice kind of would smell like. It smells kind of like musty, crusty leaves, crunchy, not crusty. Yeah, so this is like a very fall bundle, which fall is one of my favorite times for scents. And I think all of them are really good. Not any of them was I like, didn't love. But I think I'd have to say my favorite out of all of them is, this one? is Barbara. It's really good. There's just something special about it. Is it Barbara? Yeah, that one's right, right? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to say that one's my favorite out of all of them. Yeah, but they're all really good and if they're still available. Definitely get your hands on them. Like how cute and spooky are these? Kirsten loves Beetlejuice, so you know that she was going to put her 120,000% all into that one. So good. So that is everything for this haul bit.